Whoop, 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 whoop. That's gonna be annoying. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another helium mining stream. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on the bell, liking this stream and all videos that we do as it helps the algorithm and it kind of keeps us engaged in wanting to do, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the beer and wanting to do these streams and these videos and all that jazz for you guys keeping, for those of you keeping track at home, today's beer of the day is a limited edition Southern Tier Brewing Company Frosted Sugar Cookie Imperial Ale. <clears throat> this is quite delicious. This is 8.6 alcohol by volume. Southern Tier makes some phenomenal flavored Imperial Ales. I'm just not in love with their pumpkin, but they had a Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie limited edition back in like 2019 that was delightful. And this is delightful. Tastes exactly like a sugar Christmas cookie that you used to bake with your grandparents or your parents to leave out for Santa. I know the holidays are over, but cheers to you guys. I couldn't resist. Mmm. Now, you guys know the drill. We're going to be looking at miners. We're going to be giving some tips and tricks. We're going to be answering some questions like, why is my transmit scale so low? Why am I getting invalid witnesses? So on and so forth like that. No, uh, not a gentleman from Valley of Call Miguel for work. Um, and we are going to, A, I see someone asking about uh, looking at Bobcat eBay listings. Nice lunch beer. Yeah, it is actually a nice lunch beer. I had, if you know, you know, I had a chicken tender Publix sub for lunch and if you're in the Florida area you've ever had one of those bad boys if you know you know and uh this pairs quite well with the flavor of the chicken that's still left in my mouth because it's a nice dessert mm. so we see someone talking about buying miners on eBay don't do it I don't recommend it a you're gonna be paying overpriced I mean if you got the expendable income to a pay overpriced then do it and b potentially be scammed don't do it. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Not financial advice, but just I recommend it. I'm drinking a hazy IPA, 5.5%. It's really good. I am a true lover of IPAs. Oh, I got to log this into Untapped. You can also find me on Untapped. These uh, these Mary IoT miners worth a damn. I will be doing a US unboxing probably within the week or so of the Mary IoT miners. I did one of the Europe version, but we do on over on Helium Mart. They do have a small stock of the U.S. miners available. They are for five hundred. They're about six hundred bucks, and I don't. And that's included all like that and all that stuff like that. I don't believe it's included in shipping. Hey, hey, saw this first helium-related ad on Facebook for Jiang antennas. I have. I think I have seen that. I see that. I've saw that, seen that as a YouTube ad. But if you guys are looking to get um, some helium miners and you don't want to do a long wait, hey, from Poland, how are you? I saw your questions, uh, Eric. I just haven't responded to a lot of comments. Is Bobcat Miner all that, or should we look into the other miners more? I do have two Bobcat Miners, and I have had some really good results on them. We could show them here, but you're going to have to wait like six months. So if you don't want to wait, uh, try to grab some of these um, these Browin Mary IoT hotspots. They are available right now in Helium Mart with shipping in five to seven days versus seven months. You can just you can go here, change what you want, either Europe or UK, obviously, or USA or Europe. And then we, I, a new miner, original snowy beetle. Uh, we'll look at that here in a second. And then just add to cart and go from there. Now I do personally, hey, hey, how can I increase my witnessing? Small saffron spider, please. Also, can you put a splitter on your miner and hook up two different DBI antenna? Thoughts, please. You can, but you're going to be limiting those antennas in half. So if you put up a six DBI and a three DBI with a splitter, you're going to actually turn it into a three DBI and a 1.5 DBI. I wouldn't do that. I would honestly just uh, wait until Helium Mart has the, let's see if they have them available today. Today. hotspot accessories they we are waiting for them to have oh they're out of stock they sold out of their uh U europe um their eu six dbis but as soon as they get available which they have them they do have them i believe they're waiting on customs to clear before they're able to actually sell and ship them but the mcgill microwave system six dbi tuned antenna uh so we'll talk about my setup for those of you guys that are new to the channel or this is the first time you're on the stream i have three miners currently i have big current manta ray which is a mile site from that we purchased from Helium Mart with a six DBI McGill antenna that Helium Mart did send to me as a thank you gift for talking about their channel. And you can see that one in the past 24 hours has earned 1.01 helium. That one's bananas. And then Sour Walnut Goat and Brief Taupe Fox are both um, Bobcat miners. We got them back in September and they have 5.8 rack wireless antennas. These are the antennas that they have on them as well. Uh, they're a lot cheaper. So two antennas is 80 bucks. So they're about 40 bucks a piece versus the 
you could see the pricing of the McGill 6.0, which is 115. But in the past couple of days since we put them up, they're at 0.96 and 0.81. So I really do like where they're at. But I bought four DBI and six DBI McGill a week ago, and they will come in next Monday. I am hyped. Don't do boosters or splitters. Dangerous and not advantageous. Exactly. So you can look at my account here. In the past 24 hours, we have our... Oh, and we were hit by the bars. We don't have the wave. We don't have the line graph anymore. We were hit by the bars. I missed the line graph. But it is what it is at this point. So in the past 24 hours, we've mined 2.775 helium. Very, very happy about that. The past seven days, 16.82 helium. The past 14 days, 29.62 helium. And the past 30 days, we're up to 51 helium, which these are just going up. And you can see here that they're going up with our highest day earning 3.042 helium. And that's only going to get higher when we get our Mary IoT helium miner in as well. I'm very, very excited to see what earnings that we can get. Our h &T balance is only at 2.96 because we have sent all of our helium. We sent five helium to Mind of Tron, um, and then we sent 14 helium on January 9th, which was yesterday, to uh, helium staking. So we now have a grand total of 110.91 that helium that's being staked. I'll show you the rewards on that here in just a second, and then we will start looking up miners as well. Hi, do you know something about noodle mining? Um, I think I've heard of it, but I don't at the moment. So if you actually look right now, with the prices of everything being down, we have a total of staked 3.5 thousand helium. Obviously, with helium being as low as it is, um, it's it's not exactly super exciting, but we want to see that increase because we have about 110, what was it, 110 helium staked? Yeah, 111 helium staked, which is pretty solid. And then over here on the reward, since we've been staking and increasing, we've already earned ourselves a 0.65 total rewards earned, which have then been compounded and restaked. Switch that over in the calculator into the USD, and that's currently $20. Nothing to shake a stick at, or nothing to shake, you know, it's nothing to shake a stick at but at the end of the day we are just letting our helium collect and compound and grow which i am very very happy and excited for so uh grab an outdoor 4 dbi or 5.8 from helium mart and use the nerdy dude stuff discount code in the description for some extra savings yep derek thank you very much one of our mods and one of our channel members you can see by the goku in his chat name um you are absolutely right all right so we have a new miner it is m original snowy beetle don't forget guys Try to get some of these NFTs made of these guys. So we're going to Jacksonville, Florida. And of course, George Hannis up in Jacksonville, Florida. He knows uh, he knows about these pub subs. All right, taking a look at you here. What's going on, Mr. P? How are you? Why my wallet founds going lower? Uh, I don't understand your question. Redo it, Mexico Diaz. All right, so we are looking at Freedom Fi. I'm not too familiar with the actual Freedom Fi itself, but you have a 5.8, 11 meters up in the air. Can you do a video about noodle mining? I can think. I can definitely think about it. So we are getting point. We're getting nine cents in the past 24 hours. In the past seven days, we've gotten point one two. You're way below the average. The average is point one four helium, and you're at point zero four five. Please look at powerful hemp squirrel. We'll go ahead and uh, copy that. Don't spam though. And remember, guys, if you want me to look at miners and I keep forgetting or anything like that, please consider sending a super chat or just send a super chat as a thank you for providing you guys this content for so long. All right, so we are looking at your 30-day spread, and I'm not sure how the Freedom Fi are going. Hi, can you please check high plastic trout? Very low earnings, I think. Thanks. But I like your height, and I like what you have. It might be a situation where your cable isn't that good. Um, if you guys... You might you're gonna hear me talk about them a lot, but the LMR 400 cables are kind of where you need to be. It's could because uh, your area is pretty much a lock for a 5.8, so you need to make sure that either a your cable is of good quality, b in Florida your miner isn't being really exposed to elements. It's not an external miner like my helium. Um, Mile site is a great external miner, so I don't have to worry about that. But this just might be a situation of a cable. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, we're staying in Florida. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Also, if you guys like the Let's Go Bitcoin t-shirt, they are available for sale in the link in the description. I did have them designed by yours truly. So you can show some love there. What are we looking at here? All right. We're looking at a Bobcat. Six meters with a 5.8. Your area might be a little bit better if you, A, get a 6.0 McGill or even an 8.0. I would probably consider an 8.0 in this area because I'm assuming that some of these locations around you, let's take a look at what theirs are looking at. Yeah, so the locations around you um, don't have optimal setup. 
and that's that's an issue. If these mile sites are awesome, I love it. If the this guy has an okay setup, so let's see what he's rocking since he's at least pulled a couple of helium. Um, if it loads, uh, Revofi is the other product that has my attention, but not much out there yet. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Revofi. So he's got a 10 DBI. So just with the increase, that's a lot better than what we're seeing in the other ones. But this is kind of a scenario where the stuff around you just really has crappy um, setups. So I would probably consider trying to get myself even higher. If your your elevation is similar to mine, getting yourself up to eight meters or higher would be better. And of course, since you are also in Florida, go to usacoax.com and get yourself a LMR 400 cable if you don't already have one to go. But other than that, um, that's kind of just what I'm seeing here. Your area kind of sucks. So we want to get outside of our area. Yeah, we want to get outside of our area. And if you're getting some stuff where you're getting some invalid witnessing or anything like that, just pop into the app and put it up to 8 meters. Give that a try as well. You could be getting some invalid witnessing, and just upping the height a little bit will help increase those rewards as well. All right, let's see. Did we have another one up in there? Did we have another one? Happy Monday to you as well. Happy Monday to you as well. We've got virtual reality for me.crypto. How are you today? Why are we not scrolling? I thought we had another miner that we can take a look at. Um, let's see. Let's see. Smash the like button. Definitely do that. Um, we're talking about those antennas. Let's see. Uh, my miner, Zany. Zany Fiery Liger. Let's take a look. In the UK, in Great Britain. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Zany Fiery Liger. Liger, 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 Liger. We should get drunk today. No, I have work. Do I? Yeah, I kind of do. Then I have to watch The Bachelor with my wife. All right. I like your setup. I don't hate it. Let's see. Do you have someone in your hex with you? You have four in your hex. Okay. Ugh. That that kind of sucks. That that sucks a little bit. You can maybe potentially finagle and cheese ball. Um, you could cheese ball POCV11 and try to place yourself right out here. And there's really no impact because you're within two miles and you didn't hear that from me. But you're looking at 0.21 in the past 24 hours, not too shabby. Remember, the average is about 0.14. So if you're over that 0.14, oh, we got another miner. We'll take a look at that as well. So if you're averaging over that 0.14, that's, that's not too bad. I think that is success. Um, just watched your newest video on the block create. Is it confirmed that unlimited versions will actually connect to your internet? Yes, they said they should. We should grab a beer sometime. I'm in Tampa. I would have no problem. Um, next time I drive out to Hard Rock and play some poker, we can maybe hang out at uh, Cigar City Brewing. I love Cigar City Brewing. Or if you want to meet me halfway and go to Brew Hub, I also love Brew Hub right off of I-4 as well. Their Goon Squad and their Sun Squishy are phenomenal beers. Or not Sun Squishy. That's... um. No, Goon Squad is their, is their main IPA. Sun Squishy is uh, Claremont Brewing Company. I need to get everything going. So, all right. So, I like your, your setup. There's not a lot that I would really change other than um, your height. So, looking at your height with it being three meters, get it higher. If you get it higher, you're going to get better returns. You already got some nice um, hits from what you've got. But, uh, yeah, definitely get it higher. Tart Pecan. All right. So, we've got Amusing. Uh, small Saffron Spider, please don't forget me. Remember, guys, Super Chats. Super Chats get you to the front of the line. If you can't hear me, I'm saying Super Chats get you to the front of the line. Because, see, we're starting to build up. We're starting to build up on people over here. All right, so we are uh, – uh, yeah, all right, so you have a Curlink. Not sure about that one. 6 DBI. And you want to get Amusing Punch Barbell up. So your height is your height is also hurting you. Once you get up higher, make sure you still have that good LMR 400 cable. Once you get up higher, you're going to start seeing a lot more, especially with your 6.0. So get yourself as high as you possibly can. Your height, 3 meters, isn't going to do it for you. I'll make sure your setting are in correct app. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? I'll uh, tart pecan being destroyed. Excuse me. Let's see. Okay, if I can't click the T, just give me the T. Give me that. Oh my God! Why is this being crazy? I only had half a, a sip of beer. I'm not that drunk. All right, let's take a look. My wallet USD decrease almost every day. Sorry, I'm new to this. Yeah, the wallet USD is going to be decreasing right now because the price is dropping. 12 meters, 4 DBI. Yeah, so leave it that way. Super Chats, LOL, Wide Raspberry Python, right DBI for cable loss. Could you take a look at Polite Tangerine Dolphin and Glamorous Hickory Puppy out in Riverside, California? When my miner comes... California, yay. When my miner comes in, I will be in that hex. Okay, we could probably take a look at that. All right, so looking at this... Oh, $5 Super Chat. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 
So we're going to copy that because you get to the front of the line. Standard Bobcat setup rewards continue to go lower. What can I do to improve? My antenna is in the window, so not optimal. All right, all right, um, M Reigns, you know what I'm going to say about your window. You know what I'm going to say about your window. What's going on, Fat Dave? How are you, man? All right, so yeah, really, this kind of looks like your area. Um, you've got your 6.0. McGill, but yeah, you are kind of being screwed by all this stuff around you, so your height is fine. Just make sure you're not up in any windows or anything like that, and you have a good cable. So if you've got the standard setup, you want to get that good cable. All right, Quaint Heather Osprey, because we got a $5 super chat. Let's take a look, shall we? My antenna is in the window. I'm going to tell you right now, your antenna in the window. That's, that's doing it for you. You are above the average, which is good. So congratulations with your antenna in the window above the average. Seven day, not so much, but at least you're still above the average. 14 day, eh, eh, eh. All right, so we're just looking at, you know, A, your hotspot is relayed, so you want to get it off a of relay if you possibly can. Make sure you open up port 44158. I'm not an IT guru other than I know how to operate the two um, routers that I have, the three, the two routers, because my hotspot's in relayed, uh, which has gotten one helium today. But... Uh, you want to make sure that you get it out of relayed, and if you have a Nighthawk, I can help you with that. Not a problem if you're a gamer or anything like that. You want to get it out of the window because I'm assuming that your window is – you're blocking off. It's an omnidirectional, so you're not getting a lot of activity behind you. So I would probably definitely recommend getting yourself – hey, Andres, how you doing? I would definitely recommend getting yourself either A, on the wait list to get the 6.0 McGill antenna, or if you want to get an antenna right now and – oh, dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Put in your miner. We'll look at that next. Um, or just jump over to Rack if you don't want to wait until the uh, the mile site or the McGills are available. So for forty bucks, drop forty bucks. Did I look at yours? And that's why you're giving me the dollar super chat. Um, so, oh, I did. I'm using punch barbell. Absolutely. Or if you don't want to wait, um, you know, drop the forty. And I think it's like 20 in shipping for just one to get yourself a 5.8 DBI antenna and make sure you get that LMR 400 cable from usacoax.com. Put that up as high as you possibly can and you're going to get a lot more activity around you. What I would maybe also considering consider doing is kind of like build yourself up kind of you know do what i would potentially do and you start with a smaller more like cheaper antenna like this don't do an amazon one because they're all crap if you have more than one hotspot, try to get them so as close to the same elevation my hotspots are witnessing each other and the payout is nice that's exactly what mine are doing because i have two at eight uh eight meters actually all three of mine are at eight meters in the air and they're doing phenomenal um, but yeah, so you can kind of work yourself up. So put the 5.8 up and then once you start seeing an increase in rewards and then you get up to maybe $120 worth of helium, order yourself the McGill and maybe at that time helium mart will have the McGill available and then buy the $120 one. And then you could start seeing returns like mine where my McGill has one helium in the past 24 hours. So that's phenomenal. So definitely want to get yourself up, get a better antenna and get away from a window. And hopefully I have provided value to you, Reigns. Um, all right, let's see. My miner is no longer working. Looking in the dashboard, I can see that the miner height remains stuck at 0% and cannot sync for two weeks. What can I do? Restarts and resync do not work. Uh, you might have a dud. What kind of miner is it? If you have more than one hotspot, yep. Wide Raspberry Python antenna drop to 4 dBi. Leave antenna change on app. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. So if you are in the UK and you have a 6.0, um, it's not going to hurt you to say that you have a 4 dBi antenna. Um, and leave it at 6.0. It will hurt you if you're looking at like a 12 dBi or anything like that. But here's a good situation where, well, it is saying 8.5. Like, so maybe POVC is hurting you there. Uh, key things to do, keep your miner off relay. Reserve a, DC, a DHCP IP address in your router for your hotspot and make sure you're forwarding 44158 to that address. Hey, thanks, man. I was able to pop on and grab a Helium Miner off of Helium Mart. Super excited. Congratulations. SD card pooped probably. Yeah, that might be it too. Um, was answering him, LOL, not mine. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, thank you. I appreciate the intel. Absolutely, man. Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. I'm on 8.5. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, I'm on 8.5. All right, so looking at you, you are kind of lingering around the average, which is nice. Um, you're up 15 meters, so you're probably avoiding any of the um, invalid witnessing, stuff like that. The only thing I could probably maybe think, like, yeah, the, the, if the one guy, what are we, Fat Dave? Um, drop to 4 dBi, leave antenna change. Yeah, make sure you drop the 8.5 to 4. Leave the antenna gains that you have. Um, 
and go from there. Keen Metal Piranha Finestra Miner in the Attic with Rack 5.8 dB antenna mounted to a tripod using an adapter to connect the miner to the antenna instead of a cable. That's not a bad way to go. Uh, depending on what kind of adapter you are using, because there is some signal loss when it comes to adapters, um, but it's probably going to be a lot less of a signal loss than if you were using a longer cable. So you are in the attic, and you have a 5.8. You're getting everything. Like It's good that you're hitting here at 5.8. You're 5 meters up. If you can get up higher than 5 meters, that would be better i know that not all addicts are like mine like the reason why i'm able to have mine so high hey ari how are you how's it going today um i the reason why uh i can get higher um in my attic like i have a one-story house and if i put it in my room here oh five dollar super chat for small saffron spider if i put it in my attic in my office it's only going to be about five meters up like yours but in my living room i have vaulted ceilings so from the vaulted ceiling there's also like a three to four foot gap from the ceiling to the roof and i have mine in there so i i'm, I'm up pretty i'm up high for my house it's it's borderline two-story house which is awesome all right larry giordano which i love your pizza larry I don't know if you have any affiliation with Giordano's Pizza down here in the Kissimmee, Orlando, Florida marketplace, but man, those deep dish pizzas are to die for. All right, Bobcat, four DBI, five meters up. So I'm looking at you here, and I'm assuming that your Bobcat is the stock antenna. Um, you're in Stanton Island, which it could be beneficial. If you're in Stanton Island, you're on a skyscraper, uh, you're saying five meters up. So if, are you on a first floor, like a how UK is capped to 4 dBi, I think it's dropping minor output POC V11. Yeah, just change it, change it, change it, change it, change it. Um, I know Rack and SenseCap have instructions in their tech support on how to replace a bad SD card, but be sure to check with your hotspot provider on how to do it properly. Yeah, I don't know how to do the SD cards. Well, I mean, I do. I have an SD card in the one back here, the Mary IT that I did in the unbox, which I'm waiting to send this out to. I need the address from Helium Mark to send it out. But yeah, so if you've got the stock antenna for the 4 dBi, and if you're next to a window, get it away. If you have an opportunity, this is a good spot to maybe get an external 4 or 5 dBi. Yeah, definitely smash the like button. Shoulda, woulda, 0420. Yeah, let's get to let's get 11 more likes. Let's get 11 more likes. I want to get 50. That way more people can start viewing. Because I'm noticing that the Monday streams are dying a little bit. Like, what more content do you guys want from me? The helium is, like, supposed to be really good. Stock, second floor. Okay. I would give yourself... Uh, you are in a nice spot to maybe try a... I can always I'm always going to recommend a 5.8 but if you don't want to drop on the 5.8 maybe you could try a 3 dbi McGill when those become available and you definitely want to get yourself off the stock antenna I don't like the stock antennas the first thing I did with my Bobcats was I changed out the stock antennas you might be better off with one of those nice longer omni directionals on the second floor make sure it's not near a window and if you're on the second floor and you have a scenario where you can put it on top of a bookshelf like i'm pointing behind my i need to see myself i need to always confirm what i'm doing when i'm i don't know why so i'm pointing at my bookshelf back there and if i was in a situation like i was on the second floor and i couldn't put it in the attic or outside i would uh put it on top of the shelf right there behind one of my spider-man figures and away from windows so try yourself a bigger dbi get yourself a nice longer antenna versus the little stock one that comes with the bobcats get an lmr 400 and try to get that up even higher if you can get in your attic get in your attic and change your um change your height to uh eight meters so you want to consider that let's see yes i am currently okay uh plus one for keen lol guess instead of the attic mount the antenna to a three foot pole and keep the miner in the attic i don't have um keen ebony badger please i am um thank you very much larry for the super chat i really appreciate it and paste I am in my attic. I don't have the, I don't have it on a pole or anything. I just have it, my uh, antennas um, um, attached to the beams in there. So that's what I got. Also make sure the stock antenna is bent. I've seen many videos analyzing these small antennas and they seem to like to be bent upward to work proper. Like the, the one on the mounted base. Yeah, you wanna make sure they're up, up. All right, so plus one for Keen. Uh, let's take a look here. So you're at a 2.3 rack, five meters in the air, and you're hitting some pretty solid numbers for the past 24 hours. You're at 0.25. In the past seven days, you're looking at 0 0.16, 0 0.1, 0 0.171, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 
0.127. You really want to kind of get yourself into a situation where we're getting about 3.5 helium in a seven day spread. That's always what I like to go for. You're welcome, Larry, and thank you. And also in a 30 day spread, you want to get yourself to at least have 10 or more. So if you're rocking the 2.3, you're not really in a 2.3 conducive atmosphere. This is another candidate for a 5.8 or higher. So the 5.8 rack or the 6.0 McGill will be beneficial for you. Five meters up, get yourself between eight to 10 meters and you'll be solid there. I know it's a little bit easier said than done, but if you do really find a way to invest enough time to get the antenna out and up, you are going to see an increment, like an insurmountable return on rewards. Um, I plan on doing a video, hopefully within the next week or so, that is going to be a 2021 versus 2022 miner earnings scenario where we're gonna pull up my earnings back when I first started mining helium, when I had my antenna A, next to a window, and then B, inside the house, and then C, when I upgraded it to the 5.8 outside and in my attic and the one over at my in-law's house that is outside. Not really gonna include the mile site just because it doesn't have that tenure as my two Bobcats to give enough data to say, uh, this is my 2021 earnings back from September of 2021 to January of 2022. Now, I can show you guys the world so, na, 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 na. Um, I, even like if I show you my uh, 20, 30 day results, you're not going to see really the old school earnings unless I just pull up the data in those videos, which is really cool. I love being a YouTuber. Um, wow. Holy shit. How far are you? Oh, we need to switch this to color as well. Um, I don't like the not color. How far? Look at that witness. So here's a great example. This is my setup here. 100 kilometers. Wow. So just to build credibility for you guys, this is this is this is my first miner. This is my very first miner, Brief Tope Fox. We have a witness at 100 meters, 100 kilometers away. That's awesome. In the past 30 days, this miner has made itself 15 helium, and there was three days where it did go down to zero for a little bit, and I just resync the bastard. But 24 hours we're at 0.84. Seven days we're at 5.1. 71 so we're almost making $200 a week and then 14 days we're making 9.8 because we had that dud uh you're welcome Colby and thank you um but look in 30 days so this miner cost us what 412 or 512 dollars and just 30 days alone it's recovered it's you know it's ROI obviously since I've had this miner since September um, it's been more. So this is an example of, it's a 5.8 rack wireless antenna. It's a it rack fiberglass antenna. It's this antenna right here. I bought two of them. So I bought the $80 bundle because I have two Bobcats with it. And then I have a 25 foot LMR 400 cable. So that shows the significance of having that LMR 400 cable versus a stock cable or a not LMR 400 cable because I do have some signal loss. So realistically, I'm probably pumping out 4.7 dBi because I have a 1.1 dB signal loss from that 25 footer. But you can see the numbers don't lie. Like in my area, especially if you watch my videos, my video, my 2021 to 2022 comparison, when I started in the area, it was it was me. It was my second miner, and then it was two miners down here. And now the area has exploded, which is very, very fortunate. And it's also nice that this area is exploding, especially with someone like Derek who lives in the general vicinity. $5 super chat from Casey. Uh, thank you very much. We'll stop yapping about my shit. Um, so it is it is super nice that you know there's a few people that actually live around me that uh, follow me on YouTube because they're replicating what I have, and we're all able to make helium off of each other. So, and the, and the fact that I have three miners in the area, which I soon will have four, and our earnings are just going to keep going up through the roof. All right, taking a look here. Bobcat, seven meters in the air, 5.8. We are looking at a daily... Well, actually, did you just change this in the past couple of days? Because you're having a really good day. But your past 30 days kind of hurt a little bit. Your past 14 days, you pretty much have most of the legwork there, and your past seven days right there. So I would recommend, especially when a flatter area, like, you know, you're on the sides of the mountain here. How far are you from the, the, wind, the wind, wind farm? Isn't that, like, right through here or something? So obviously we've got some elevation right here that you're not getting. Woohoo! YouTube managed to recommend a good video. Three bobcats on the way. Feels like forever. My three aware sensor is going strong. Thanks, NDS. Are you interested in non-hardware crypto passive income? I am. I am thinking, I think I missed the window. I did, I was thinking about doing Pulse. Um, I just, 
I don't know. Like, I, I am definitely, like, you know, obviously, like, staking my helium and stuff like that. But I'm really getting some good stuff with hardware. So, yeah. So, you've got the elevation over here, which is nice. You're getting someone on the other side there. So, that means they're probably up over the mountain and over you. But if you can maybe try to get yourself a little bit higher, I think your antenna is perfectly fine. Um, it just make sure you have a good cable. And with the with the bobcat if you are external i know it's going to take a beating from the the west coast heat in the sun so you want to try to keep the external like get yourself a good external case but i think you might be in a scenario where a your cord is crap b your antenna might not be a rack one it might be one that you bought on amazon um, C, the antenna might not be level. So you want to consider if your antenna is level or not. Let's see if we can see any of your activity. I know the Explorer on this computer runs a little slow. So let's see if we can see any activity here. And maybe we're getting some invalid witnessing. So if you're getting some invalid witnesses or anything like that, especially with all the stuff near you, just go in the app and put yourself up to eight meters. Sending beacons, sending beacons. You're getting some activity, which is nice. Let's go to all activity. Let's see how long this would load. So I, I think those are just the only scenarios that you really, really need to keep focus on is good cord, level antenna, not near a window. Um, so you're getting a lot of witnesses, but how much are you? You witnessed a beacon here, received your mining rewards created a challenge witness to beacon witness to beacon uh is there any recommendations for indoor antennas for a three or a four dbi is your mile site hotspot outside if so how did you Ooh. my my mile site is not outside my mile site is uh do i still have the picture of it let's see if i still have the picture of it my mile site is inside of an attic and it is um basically zip tied like i'm no fancy schmancy installer but it is basic there it is it is basically zip tied to the beam in the attic so this is my mile site so you can see right here the mile site's got the six dbi antenna and sorry that the quality's low i still am so freaking lazy i haven't set up my gaming computer to start doing my records i keep meaning to but i just like i'm just so lazy so lazy i gotta stop playing halo infinite on it and diablo 2 um but you can see my mile site i i love the mile site because there's no need for an adapter or anything i can plug the antenna directly into the mile site because it's an n type connection which it eliminates all signal loss from a cable which is beautiful so i've got pure power and signal pumping out of this antenna because there's no signal loss now if you are external then you might want to have a small cable separating from the mile site to the antenna just because if the elements start beating on your antenna you don't want that to internally ruin the antenna connection of the actual miner itself so that is something to be aware of but this is inside there's no lightning arrestor there's no um, grounding just because the static electricity inside the attic is a lot less than the static electricity of the atmosphere outside and so so their earnings on this bad boy have been significant so we are what is it uh, well let's just look at my account again because i can't remember the name of it brief taupe fox brief taupe fox and then we're gonna go to what is it um it's nope i'm just gonna go to go to the miner my miner is right here big that's what it was i couldn't remember the first word so you could see in the pat well actually it was in the pat there we go it is relayed. Ignore that. Uh, fit a bubble. You can pick up a 4 DBI from Helium Martin, put it on a magnetic base, and probably get better than stock antenna if you can't place it outside. Yeah, I took the words out of my mouth, Derek. Thank you very much. We're going to copy this miner right here. Um, but yeah, so you can see my mile site. You saw the picture. It's at 1.03 helium in 24 hours. In the seven days, it's at 5.55. And remember, our goal is to be between 2.5 and 3.5 in seven days. So obviously, in 14 days, we want to be about like five to six helium. And then 30 days, we want to be at 10 or more. So we got started down here. We let it sink, and it took a while. So we actually got started mining on December 20th and or December 19th. And we've pretty much been 0.6 and higher the entire time. Like There's a couple of dud days where it did go off and fall out of sink on December 31st. But then it bounced right back with a vengeance, and we're at 0.642. 0.96 to our best day is 1.08 and today is our second highest day at 1.03 so very 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 in love with my helium mile site you can really see the difference between running a cable to the antenna versus running the antenna directly into the miner like that which is awesome let's get eight more likes if you haven't hit the like button hit the damn like button all right genuine coffee goose 
so looking at your 24 hours, you're at 0.3. You're already over the average of 0.14. In the past seven days, you're over the average of 0.14. So we are winning there. But looking at your update right here, you're, and if you're external and higher than your roof line, please, please keep your baby little hotspot safe with a lightning arrestor. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you do want to make sure that you have a lightning arrestor. Uh, they're about 14, 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, for one that'll just do the job and then you have to get the lightning arrestor wiring to ground it It's a really simple process. It wasn't too bad um, I've grounded mine at my in-laws house because that one is actually external as well uh, That one is external. So looking at here you you the 4.0 isn't really conducive to the area that you're in um, It's it's doing well for you right now But a 5.8 or better will do much better a 4.0 would be better Like let's say we can snatch this uh, hex up right here a 4.0 with the best placement would be optimal for this kind of setting out here and a little bit more of a sparser, not as sparse, but like less dense helium hotspot area. You want to get that bigger omnidirectional. Uh, you don't really need to focus on the, the the placement behind you. So you can do something where you attach it to a beam like you saw my antenna, and you can then just aim it you know, this way. So that will do much better for you. And if you're truly sitting at zero meters, you need to get elevation, 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 elevation. That's what you need to do. Oh, a two CHF super chat. You know Helium Bot IO for push notifications? No, what is Helium Bot.io? I use um, on my mobile device, I use uh, Helium Geek. I really like Helium Geek because um, that shows my overall on the 365 days that I've been helium mining. So I could just pull that number up real quick. Ooh, Big Current Murray just got some hits. Now we're at 1.11. Shut your dirty mouth. Shut your dirty mouth. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Live on the air, we've got some helium mining taking place. <laughs> Let's see. Did it? Did it, baby? Come on, baby, let the good times roll. Not yet. I just looked up genuine coffee moose. My miner's uh, altitude registered at zero meters when it's on my... Oh, $6 super chat. Proud corn flower terrier. Why do you why why are you forwards? Thank you very much, Domingo. Why are you forwards though? This might be ahead. Um, what configuration for the LMR cable do you use for the Bobcat? It's uh, SMA type mail. It's SMA mail on the um, and, uh, minor to cable, and then it's um, N type female for cable to antenna. Um, Proud corn flower terrier. Which can you redo yours, Domingo? I, is it, it's not for is it four words now oh cornflower <laughs> we got there buddy we got there all right helium bot let's take a look at this real quick because this did come with that two chf super chat um how it works set up helium disc oh okay set up helium bot on discord I could maybe set that up in my Discord. Activate your notifications, mining rewards, get notified by your hotspot, mining rewards, any device, push notifications. That's cool. It's push notifications on Discord for mining activities of your hotspot activity and more. I feel like I would over annoy people on Discord if I did that. Um, I want to check this real quick. If I did that, I think people would be like, what the hell is he doing? SC Prime 286. Man, that was at $3.15 last night. I was so happy. All right. <clears throat> 8 dbi 5 meters up um you are probably getting a powerful signal and i'm i'm assuming you are getting some invalid witnesses so what i would probably definitely recommend is going into the app and bumping you up a meter or two but see if you can get yourself between 8 to 10 meters it sucks about your uh your transmit scale and it's crazy how you can actually see what hot spot you would recommend but um from flirta as well <coughs> I need five more likes. Five more likes. Let's get five more likes, guys. Five more likes. Five more likes. Five more likes. Yeah, so what I would probably try doing is just get your elevation. So as long as your elevation is up higher, you should be much better. You are getting a lot of witnesses, which is good. So you've got optimal stuff around you. But with the elevation, you want to do the witnessing, and that will get your rewards up even more. Let's take a look at your 30 days. So yeah, you're just halfway there. And I know that your transmit scale is crap because of the area that you are in. But that's just, unfortunately, the cards that you're dealt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next time you're in Tampa, I'll buy you a beer. It's hard for me to come to Orlando at the moment. My wife just had our daughter last month. Well, congratulations. Cheers to you. 
I completely understand. I've got twin two-year-olds. I've got, uh, they'll be three in April, two beautiful girls. And uh, just a side note for look up another minor here. I came home last night from work. I went out for work a little bit and I get got home right around bedtime. And um, it was hilarious because as soon as I opened the door and they can, we have a, a motorized lock that I attached to my phone. I don't even have to use the key. And as soon as they hear the, they came bolting out of their room and they were both buck ass naked because we're going through potty training right now. And they're in between changing from daytime clothes to pajamas they're both buck ass naked and they both just run up to me and give me the biggest hug and i'm like oh my god you're naked so i was trying to get them back in their room and they have this little like table set that they we got them to uh, for two christmases ago where they sit on they eat their dinner and stuff you know because mom and i eat dinner in the living room because we're terrible parents and we don't do family dinner at the table until they're old enough so the two of them are running buck ass naked around the table and madeline's like i'm naked i'm naked and then poppy would follow up i'm naked too uh one chf is by the way a little bit more than a dollar enjoy your next beer thank you so much i appreciate that so yeah so daughters are great man daughters are absolutely great running around the table thank you for the 50 likes guys we got there i appreciate it so they're running around you know i'm naked i'm naked i'm naked you uh ballad and super this is one of my favorite one craft beer from italy Ooh, what type uh what type of beer does italy have brewery yeah all right, so story time's over. So, yep, proud corn flour terrier. Get yourself up nice and high. Um, also, if you have the opportunity to, probably just change the height a little bit in the app so that way you can stop getting invalid witnesses. Let's go to Bubbly Orchid Cuckoo. 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 Speaking of flirta, it's raining. Why is it raining in January? I got a lot of friends that are up in, like, Indiana that I play Call of Duty with that get snow, and I'm like, it's raining. All right. Fun. yeah oh it's so much fun so much fun i'm sure you if you have if this is your first awesome congratulations and it's not parenting isn't as hard as people say great thanks absolutely 5.86 meters in the air there would be no harm in trying to get yourself up even higher so that is something to consider is getting yourself up even higher but you're looking at 0.21 god my mustache is driving me nuts a, it's got beer in it. B, I'm like making out with my freaking pop protector. I'm like, ah. it's very special, and with a cork like wine. Oh, so it's probably like, is, is it like port wine? Like, 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 um, like meaty kind of sorta. Sounds like it might be meaty, but it's beer, really nice. That's awesome. I need to set up a PO box so you guys can send me beer. Um, so yeah, all right, seven days. We were looking at you're above the average but you're not at that 2.5 range. Um, height, 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 height. Good LMR 400 cable and good height. That's just the best recommendations. I don't like seeing these six meters. I like seeing eight meters and more. Like show me a miner that's at five meters, that's not a spoofer, and that's yours. If it's your meter, if it's your miner and you're only at five meters in the air and you've got some stellar rewards, I'll send you a helium. By the way, Block Create Nessie Prime is one of the best recommendations and videos ever. Also, those helium videos are nice. Well, I hopefully, you guys, if you ordered your uh, SCP miners and they came in before the price increase, so I got 50% of my um, purchase of my SCP miner back in SCP tokens at 65 cents a piece, and then it jumped up to $3. Sorry for spam, but let's rock this chat. I don't know. I appreciate it. No, absolutely. Gives me stuff to talk about. Hmm. We got another miner to look at. Vince Piacentine. 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 Whatever. Sorry. I butchered your name. All right. Proper slate lobster. Michael Scott is yelling at me. I think I've looked at you this before. We're going to copy and paste it, though. Glorious turquoise ferret. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Um, 8 DBI, 9 meters in the air. Uh, yes, it did. And trust you, blind invested in 0.6 wow that's awesome that's awesome yeah all right so nine meters eight dbi <coughs> uh, the only thing i could probably say is maybe it's your your lmr cable or maybe it's your cable if you're running like nine meters from the bobcat and you're getting these low at least your earnings are above the average which is good but we want to get, we want the 14 day to be the seven day. So maybe, maybe just a cable. My bad. I try to put the names in caps. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to take a look at one of yours though. And then I might go get another beer. What are we at? Yeah, we've got 
Uh, I agree. Pre-ordered the SC Prime 64 gigabyte. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for my payout. We could take a look at mine real quick too. Uh, bank, bank. The stats are. The only thing that's driving me nuts right now is that they don't have the stats up here, and they don't have the last month and this month stats at the moment. But um, I'm gonna check that out in a second. But I like seeing my disk space being taken up, so that's making me very, very happy. RG two fourteen silver coated. All right, let's go. So we're looking at proper slate lobster. And you've got, yours just height. I think we've looked at yours before. Like you're getting a lot of good stuff, but you just need height. A line of sight calculator can help you decide how high you need to make your antenna and hit places around you. Just need to Google for it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, definitely try a freebie. So, you know, I, I figured it was 64 terabytes. Yeah, if you bought an SC Prime, they didn't offer a 64 gigabyte. So I figured it was that one, definitely. Um, we want to see a fun one, right? Let's take a look at a fun one. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. High gun metal crab. Hang in me to crib. I should go get a cold snap. All right. So looking at this one right off the bat, 8 DBI, 12 meters in the air, Nebra. Looking at the stuff that he's hitting, which is nice. And we're looking at a 7-day, which is at 3.5. Remember, we want to be between 2.5 and 3.5 or better. Don't, I'm not saying get to 3.5 and call it a day, but um, mine is a 30 gigabyte. And after five days, is this normal or is it a little bit less? Um, right now, right now the platform's not live, so SCP is going to be going live in um, a little over a week, and then that's when they actually start selling the space and selling the data. So this kind of data is just their test net stuff. So I'm I, I'm ha I'm hoping that come mid February will be at least like two or three terabytes. Like I'd love to see some of the space taken up here, which would be really nice. So hopefully when the project goes live, we will start seeing those awesome returns. Yon Finn with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Um, let me see if you've got a miner that you're gonna pop up. I'm looking to build an SCP Prime drive. You want to see a fun one? Check out Main Cherry Loris. Yeah, let's let's check out Main Cherry Loris. I'm still waiting for someone to showcase one that uh, is only like five meters in the air. General question, how do you learn about Planet Watch and did you buy a Type 1 license? All right, so Planet Watch is a fun story. So I'm part of the Algorand, um, every Algorand Reddit page, I'm part of their subreddits. So one night I was going to bed and I was laying down and I like to unwind on Reddit. Usually I'll skim through, oh yeah, that is a fun one. That's a spoofer. Um, so I like to unwind and I scroll through Reddit, like mostly on the, like the hold up so subreddit. But as I was scrolling through the main page and getting past all the porn that I have, like, you know, subbed in there, I saw someone mention like, hey, this new project is coming to Algorand and it's really cool. They just had an AMA today announcing that the Planet Watch sensors will be able to, uh, will, or the uh, where elements will be able to earn 23 planet tokens a day with planet watch so i was like what the hell and so i looked into that a little bit more and i jumped on amazon and saw these sensors or these air quality sensors for 150 bucks a pop i confirmed that the aware elements were the ones that were going to be listed with planet watch to earn aware and i bought four immediately i actually bought two and then i transferred crypto um over to my crypto.com card because i wanted to pay for them on my crypto.com card and get some cash back but the transfer didn't go as fast as I wanted to, so I jumped on Amazon and I put two in my basket and then it said, if you sign up for an Amazon credit card, we will give you a $150 gift card for this transaction. So I did and I spent $150 for two uh, aware elements and then I once my transaction on crypto.com cleared, I bought two more the following day, told my best friend to do it. That night they were sold out. So that's, that's how I got into it. Um, and I did not buy a type one license. I think Derek's working on the type one license. Uh, where can I contact you for partnership with low budget? Um, Twitter at nerdy dude stuff, um, discord link for that's in the description, all that stuff. Larry, if you're interested, check out the nerdy dude stuff, discord link in the description and check out the SCP channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, the SCP, we've got a lot of support and people in there that are working it through. I actually have someone that is uh, sending me a small device so I can do some videos about it. Sorry, nothing cheap. Just want to talk to you for an offer. I appreciate your videos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, Discord or the Twitters. Chili Chili. I don't know what Chili Chili is. I'm in Florida. Hey, Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently raining and 73 degrees. Expect cloudy skies starting early evening. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 62 degrees. 
Yeah, that's Florida. Oh, Sean Montgomery, $5 super chat. Had inside at first. Moved to roof three days ago. Now hardly does anything. All right, let's take a look. Okay, well, thanks. Absolutely. Fun stuff, Mitzer Witzer. I can hear my dog. He probably has to go out. My wife won't walk him. She's lazy as shit. All right, what are we looking at? Ancient Ruby Reindeer. He's probably got to poop. But I was like, I got to poop. All right, so you have a mile site. And I don't know. Sorry, it's... It's with Raspberry Python. Yeah, right? Uh, yep, I bought a Type 1 license and have a Q3 delivery date. Should still be a good return, thankfully. I have a Type 1 area to put it in and get the full rewards. Did you mean change the antenna or the input in the app? So, Sean Montgomery, we are... You want to change... Um, both, actually. Any idea when exit miners are shipping? I order mine in mid-December. Should be soon. Got my Type 3 order mail today. All right, let's take a look. So, you just got started with your mile site, which mile sites are awesome. I love my mile site. You said you put it outside. So if you put it outside, um, is it the mile site connect? Is the antenna connected directly to the mile site? Because if you put it outside directly, I would recommend getting an LMR, at least like a foot long LMR cable. Because what can happen is the elements and like a little bit of wind will jostle that connection on the mile site and potentially ruin the inside. Um, I don't understand why moved it to the roof three days ago now hardly does anything had inside at first um yeah i could see right all right so your first three days you're 0.1 point one four six point nine point one point one two two point one two seven and now we're looking at here so if you did just move it as well um you are direct connect yeah so you want to be careful with that um just because the potential damage that there is if you did move it outside, your height is perfect. Uh, make sure it's level. Um, that's all I could really say. Maybe give it a couple more days and see. Um, just because sometimes when you make those changes, you want to give them a little bit of time just to kind of reacclimate on the blockchain and start pinging these back and forth. Um, that's all I can really see. Uh, LMR 600 on my setup with Lightning Arrestor. Good. Yeah, so you just want to be careful with it being directly connected. I see someone reaching out in Discord. Yo, yeah. There we go. All right, I got you. I got you, E. I see you're in all those discords. Hi. I'm going to send you back hi, just to let you know I got you. So, um, I am going to go grab another beer real quick. I will continue the stream for a little bit longer um, while I drink a beer. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do not ruin your connection. Right, I'm back. Now we're drinking a cold snap. One of my favorite beers of all time. And the price has jumped about 4%. Got my tip through them. Blah, 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 blah. Direct connect. And six, seven, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you. I need to know if you meant to change the DBI in the app or the actual antenna. So if you are in the UK and you have a 5.8 DBI antenna, go into the app and change it to 4. I hope that answers your question. My rack 8 DBI is 30 feet higher than my McGill 9 DBI, and the McGill outperforms it by 0 0.1, 0 0.3 a day. I guess you get what you pay for. Smash the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more SCP Helium and Block videos live stream every Monday. No, you do stuff. Doing terrible at the moment. 8.5. So if you're at 8.5 and you're in the UK, switch it to 4. Just switch it to 4. Just lie. Lie. All right. Um, yeah, actually, I don't have a problem. Like I, 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 like I said, the four, the five point eights, the racks, wonderful investment. They did great for me. Very, very happy. Forty bucks a piece. Can't go wrong with it. But 
the McGill for 120 bucks. It's phenomenal. I do not have a block affiliate, but if there's a place, um, just let them like put nerdy dude stuff or something. But yeah, I don't have a block affiliate. I should ask him for that. You guys have sold a lot. Um, but yeah, put like nerdy dude stuff or reach out to him. Say, uh, you're a gent. No, you're a gent. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Um, you should be able to put like nerdy dude stuff or let them know that I sent you. All right. So we're looking at white Mary gold turtle, but yeah, so I had no issue, like 40 bucks for the antenna, like well worth it. Well worth it. Um, if we look at the, if we look at my, nope, that's untapped. If we look at my earnings with the, um, so brief taupe fox has made itself 65 um sixty five helium over the course of its life. And it's at So my one miner has made two thousand and twenty eight dollars and that's with the and that's with the rack wireless. No problem with that. My other miner has made 1,894 and that's also with a rack wireless still not bad and then this one hasn't even been alive for 30 days and we've already looked at that on camera so not bad at all the McGill's are insane yeah the McGill's are insane I got all my stuff from there McGill are costly but su uh, supposed are awesome I got all my stuff there okay got you do you have a block? No, nope. Answered that one. At Derek. I got all my stuff. I know the owner and will I will send the message on. I love I know you love beer, crypto, and crazy stuff. I do, and I want to start playing video games and doing uh poker vlogs as well. All right, so we're getting distracted. 5.8 Bobcat. Look at that all the way up there. Look how far you're shooting. Um your 5.8's fine. An 8.0 could be better. The 6.0 McGill could be stellar. Uh your height sucks. Get up higher. Get up higher. Hey Siri, what's five meters to feet? Five meters is sixteen point four feet. If you can, take your earnings and go to Lowe's and buy a telescopic twenty foot or a thirty foot flagpole and put your shit on top of the flagpole. That's what you should do. Uh, what do you think about the H antennas, outdoor and indoor? Which which ones are the H antennas? I'm not familiar. Not familiar with the H antennas. Oh my god, my mustache. Ugh. It's scratchy. It's itchy. It's scratchy. It's itchy and scratchy. Ugh. Uh, hi, can you please check high plastic trout? Thank you. I guess I could check that for you. And while I'm checking on this miner, don't forget to go into the link in the description of this video to go to the Nerdy Dude Stuff t-shirt shop and buy yourself... I forgot to take copper down. Shit. I got to take copper down. Hey, what's going on, Nitro? And you can buy yourselves one of these nice Let's Go Bitcoin t-shirts or Nerdy Dude Stuff logos and stickers and hoodies. And I guess you can buy the Shut Up Copper. It's still up there. So, all right, let's go back to this. Did I paste it? Wild. No, we're looking at high plastic trout, right? Yeah, high plastic trout. Flagpole is what I do. Yeah, I like your setup. I should drive around that complex and see if I can find your house and just like creepily stalk outside your parents' window and like run my claws on the window and be like Err! gets by the HOA yeah it does it really does I think I talked to someone on Twitter about some tips about what they can do with flagpoles so all right high plastic trout let's take a look eight DBI 50 meters in the air it's it's perfect it's perfect I don't know why it's crap though like you're over the average I'm feeling pretty good much better um still a cough but I'm not drained as much anymore. LMO, LMAO, I do that around here. Is there a place to buy the McGill antenna in the US? They're not at this exact moment that, well, yeah, there, I believe there's some other websites, but I'm gonna always shill and recommend um, Helium Mart. They do have them, they're out of stock at the moment. They're just waiting on customs to clear to get out to their Bulgaria uh, warehouse. And then they are actually opening up a warehouse in the US in the in the near future to where they can just ship directly from us so definitely i would just sign up and use code nerdy dude stuff at helium mart and just get the on the email waiting list if anyone outperforms me i look at their setup yeah so i mean really i can look at all your setups and be like oh that's cool that's what you got and look at the areas for we can just show mine but also i have three miners i will have four soon i saw yours in hot spot the other day but thought it might be weird to knock down your door <laughs> 
I mean, just shoot me a message first, and I'll come out and hang out with you and have a beer with you for a minute. I don't care. <laughs> I'll have my gun on me, but because I'm a truck driving country boy. Well, I'm not really a country boy. I'm from New York. I'm still waiting on my block. Yeah, I'm waiting on my second block. Uh, do you plan on testing any panels or directional antennas? I actually might be testing a directional antenna. Helium Mart is sending me as another thank you for doing content and promoting their, uh, you know, uh, like there's no affiliation or contract or anything that we have. It's just they send me free shit. So obviously I want to send you guys to them to buy them. And then they send like we did the collaboration to do the um, – to do the uh, Mary IOT minor, and we're probably gonna do a collaboration on like another minor to do a giveaway. So of course I'm gonna direct you guys to that way. And there's an affiliate link, so I've been doing really well. Um, but they're gonna send me a directional one that I can try. I know there is a distro, I will find it, mate. Yeah, I just don't know what, what other distributors there are. But yes, we will do a directional antenna. I'm a little hesitant to, um, I'm gonna go back to my setup here. Because I don't have any super chats at the moment, so I can talk about what I want to talk about. Um, I'm using directional at the moment. I'm using freezing at the moment. Is what I'm doing. Um, my one concern is that if I put up a directional, so I'm gonna draw a picture because this is what I love to do on these streams. Is if I put up a directional, if I get my drawing, get my drawing. December exit minor orders. What the hell are you doing? What the fart is this? Okay, we're back. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Uh, any advice on Finestra Miner? It's more expensive, but it's available now. Um, if it's available, these are available. You can go and buy them. If you guys are just tuning in and you want stuff in the U.S. and you want a miner within the next five to seven days, the link in the description it will take you to Helium Mart, and you can get a Brow and Mary IoT hotspot, which we did an unboxing on, and it's very similar to Bobcat, and they ship within five to seven business days. Just use code Nerdy Dude Stuff in the description to get yourself like three or four percent off. I love Goku. <laughs> I love Dragon Ball Z, and I love Goku, and I love Dragon Ball Super. So we want to go back to drawing real quick, right? So this is why we are not using an omnidirectional. So we've got one miner here, we've got one miner here, and we've got one miner here, and we've got Erlander right up here so if i use an omnidirectional or if i use a standard directional and shoot it towards orlando i'm now my whole goal with my setup is to always i i love everyone around me but if if it was just my three in the area i wouldn't have cared i i would be still happy my whole goal always is to get all three of my miners pinging off of each other right so we always want them pinging back and forth and talking to each other that would be the most lucrative because at least i know i can guarantee that i have three miners bouncing and talking back and forth so if i do a directional and i aim it towards orlando then this one would cut off those ones this one might you know might be okay to do it but then it wouldn't it would cut off down here and then obviously this one wouldn't do it as well and it would cut off up there so ultimately what i would want to probably need to do is try to find someone that lives back here and aim it towards orlando and that way you can get all three of mine and then mine will get that back as well or i just get my fourth miner and i put it like in this hex here or in this hex down here and i say i don't care i could probably put it down here um I, I'm probably going to put it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock on some doors down here and see if I can get it there. Or I'm just going to spoof it. I don't have decided yet. Um, or my buddy's house, other buddy's house, which is down here. Um, and say, screw it. <laughs> and just point that out there. Um, so that's, that's the only issue. Or just put it there and have now four miners talking back and forth and then get myself up to four healing a day. But uh, so on on wide Raspberry Python, should I swap to directional? OK, so let me go back to that one. Let's go back to that one, shall we? Paste. Uh, LOL, there's not much back over there driven down. The yeah, there's really nothing back there. I could just buy a generator and put it up on a pole and get a hot spot. Oh, God, where are we? Did it freeze? Where's Python? Keep going. Okay, I was like, we're not in the middle of the ocean, are we? Um, you could get a lower, yeah, if you wanted to get some, get some of this, you could potentially get an, a directional, one of the lower DBI directionals and aim it towards Manchester. That might be pretty solid. I mean, it's going to get you better results. Right now, for some reason, your omnidirectional is not seeing what you want to see over there, but you could definitely do it. It's currently on directional. Not sure if I should get omnidirectional. Oh, 
Well, I can't tell which direction it wants to shoot itself at. I broke you. You did. You broke it. You're done. What was the suggested suggested antenna for Mary IoT? It's all going to be the same. It's either if you want to go for a lower, a good quality antenna at a cheaper price, um, click in the link below and get yourself a rack wireless, like because they're ready and available, and it'll take like five to seven days to get sent out to you. So this is what you'd want to get. But if you want to spend the big bucks, then go over into uh, Helium Mart, wait until the McGill 6.0s are available, and then you're good to go. But you're also going to need to get an LMR 400 cable. So it's going to have the RPSMA male on one end and the N-type female on the other end. And that's the cable that you want to get. $5 super chat from Mark Slaggle. Man, we haven't had a super chat in a while. It's starting to dry up. I need the super chats. Like, I need to retire as a YouTuber. And the super chats are going to help me get there. Like, I watched Dr. Disrespect play Call of Duty. He's getting them, like, left and right. And he's, you know, like, 30,000 people. But whatever. Uh, Mark Slag with the $5 super chat. Mark Slag, a creamy daisy python. Newer install. Uh, can it travel 60 miles? Um, my... My antenna, my one bought me neither. It's on the chimney breast outside above the houses, but no idea what it's doing. Um, my brief taupe fox. Oop, oh, five CHF, which is like a little over a dollar. Super chat. Um, how can he earn so much? I'll take a look at that here in just a second. Thank you, Raymond. I appreciate that very, very much. All right, so Mark Slagle, um, never installed 5.8 rack antenna, six feet LMR 400 cable installed outside. Noticing this miner performs better than my others. Main difference is this miner is wired PoE versus others on Wi-Fi. So that very well could be. Um, I can look at your other miners too. This one is get your get yourself off of relay. That's going to help you first. You're you're in that perfect range of 2.5 to 3.5. So I don't really have any advice there. And you're just it looks like you just got started. Yeah. So this miner is performing very well. Glad on looking. Just realized I had my height and antenna swapped. Oh, so you have 10. You have 10 dB. You have 10 meters in the air, and you've got a 5.8. Okay. Yeah. Get that swapped out. It's only going to cost you 55 cents. Let's take a look at your other miners. Your account seems to be doing well. Don't buy Rack 5.8. Take Michelle 6 DBI. It's much better. Shameless plug for West Michigan Helium Group on Facebook. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So are these all of your miners, or are they, like, you guys are in a group of guys that bought a bunch? Like, much better. Oh, yeah, the McGills are better on the Rack Wireless as well. Um, So we were looking at Creamy mm, Daisy Python. And that was at 0.32. I mean, it is your best performer. So let's look at careful amethyst fish. You can see the difference between the set, the four. I think you're switched here too, right? Like, so you have a four DBI and you have it seven meters in the air. You might have to switch them all, bro. But yeah, that's a good example. You can see there. All right. Raymond Tognola with the 5CHF Super Chat wants me to look at digital blood barbell and how he can look at his. That's awesome, though. I mean, you got a nice little setup. You got better than mine. Spoofer. Spoofer. No spoofing. Well, I can't just jump to conclusions that he's spoofing without jumping to conclusions that he's spoofing, but I'm just, I mean, he's spoofing. Because there's no way a 15 DBI, he, he screwed that up. I guarantee he didn't mean to put 15 DBI. He meant to put 15 meters or 150 meters. But yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this is a spoofer. Let's take a look at his account. So he's probably got a bunch of hotspots sitting in a room. Yeah, he's got all of his hotspots sitting in a room, and he's got their positions put out differently. This is a spoofer. This is why he's the way he is. Why are you the way that you are? Spoofer. And like, see, so look at this. This is weird. 10 meters, 12 dBi. Bullshit. 15 meters, 15 dBi. Bullshit. 5 meters, 2.8 dBi. Mm hmm. Isn't it just a mountainside? It is, but he's a spoofer. No. What's the other ones at? Yeah, he's got them all in a room. All of his are in a room. Yeah, all of his are in the same room. Let's look at this 2.8. Let's see how the 2.8's doing. Oh, 
or open mouth insert foot he might not be a spoofer he might be perfect he might be the perfect guy uh, if the hotspots are sitting in the same room on the same internet, does that split his earnings anyway? Um, yes and no. So, are any of these relayed? That's what we have to look at. Are you streaming in 480 or is YouTube being a knob? I am streaming in uh, 1080. So, I've got it set over here. I just think it's my computer. I don't think my computer is powerful as it should be. I do have my gaming computer, which you're going to get the better quality. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm going to do it. I have this big $3,000 gaming computer that I didn't just do for, you know, I didn't just buy just to sit there and collect dust. Although it's been collecting dust because I've been playing Call of Duty on my, my PlayStation 5 and the Guardians of the Galaxy game, which was phenomenal. And if you guys uh, were interested in getting that or had any hesitation, it's probably my favorite game of 2021. Phenomenal game. S sleeper hit. Very surprised with it. Hang on one second. All right. Yeah, no, it's 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 streaming in potato quality. Harsh magenta hair. Wondering if I should lower DVI or of it. Pretty flat terrain around here. And seems like it should have more witnesses. Let's take a look. But thank you very much for all those super chats, guys. Appreciate it. Let's take a look. Going to Indiana. This is where my Call of Duty squad lives. My one buddy, Mikey, is a pig farmer. Uh, worth a buy then? Buying now? Yes. Yeah, if you're a gamer, um, one thing that I was hesitant on the Guardians of the Galaxy game was it was made by Square, which I love Square. I love Final Fantasy. I have a Final Fantasy VIII tattoo and everything. Um, Avengers sucked. I hated Avengers. It was uh, gaming as a service, and it was just terrible. It was a really, 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 really crappy Destiny. So I was very hesitant about Guardians, and I ended up buying it when um, I bought my father-in-law Call of Duty Vanguard, and I wanted to buy Mortal Kombat Ultimate Edition 11, and Target was having a buy two, get one free sale. So I was like, right, I'll get Guardians for free as well. And um, I started playing it like during my COVID quarantine, and it was fantastic. I know this isn't what you want to watch in this channel, um, but man, fantastic. I got it on PlayStation 5. Awesome. Awesome game. Great story. Favorite game of 2021. Um, all right, so we're looking at harsh magenta hair. Wondering if I should lower DBI or up it. Pretty flat terrain around here, and seems like it should have more witnesses. Um, 64 witnesses isn't bad. Like, your witness count is fine. The witnessing is what you want to do. Uh, so you could probably try to get yourself up a little bit higher and make sure that you have a really good cable, and that should be better for you. Like, don't worry about your witnesses. So that's what I would just say, because if we look at mine, I don't have an astronomical amount of witnesses. Final Fantasy VII needed a remake. Final Fantasy VIII needs a remake. I love Final Fantasy VIII is my favorite. I got the uh, Squall's um, Lionheart symbol, his necklace um, tattooed on my chest. Just, just, the, just the lion head on the cross, not the actual necklace. And then back when I was younger, skinnier, and more attractive, I used to cosplay as Squall and Sora for conventions because I'm a huge nerd. So if you look at me, I um, only have 45 witnesses, and this beast, which is almost making one helium today, and this account's making 16 in the almost 16 in 30 days, which is awesome. I only have 45 witnesses. Have you tried any blockchain games? Um, I want to get in touch with Crypto Wealth. Put me onto this one, and I would stream. I would stream this um, Space Misfits. I want to give it a whirl. Like, I haven't downloaded it yet because um, I want to, you know, work out a deal. But if it's a space MMO and you can earn crypto, I'm going to be doing videos about it. And I want to try this out. And, you know, if I can actually retire and not work, uh, got, check this guy's channel. He explains everything about helium front neck to toes. Final Fantasy Tactics was epic. I love Tactics Advance. I have more beacons than witnesses. Yeah, so you want to get more witness -ing. So let's go to my other miner. This one, Sour Walnut Goat, 20 in 30 days. Holy butt. Sour Walnut Goat's going to hit a one helium today? No. Mm. Oh, and it hit one helium on the 8th. Holy poop. Holy pooper scooper. Wow. 20 helium in 30 days, boys and girls. Um, but you can see here, 19 witnesses. I only have 19 witnesses. Uh, hip 42 might change how important witnessing is, though. Temp check on voting happened the other day yeah that's also very true if they ever pull out all that stuff um but yeah so this one's only got 19 witnesses and then we go to big current man array which it's not even at its 30 day marker and it's already at 15 point oh my god it did it hit 1.12 holy butts 
hold on to your butts. This one's got this one's my um relayed, and this one's my McGill. Holy pooper scooper. So we are making some serious dinero. This one in 15 days has already broken even. And it hasn't even been mining its full 30 days. I'm sorry. And like since December 19th is when it finally got up and going. I put it up in the attic and it's already ROI. Like this is an example of like my stuff and my channel is to trial and error, to learn everything and teach you guys how to do it. Not just sell you a product, sell you a commercial for computa mining after my Voss coin intro and then selling the dream. It's to help you guys get to your earnings like this, which is why I ask for super chats, obviously, because I'm trying to provide a service and it helps me, you know, go because I'm not cashing out any of my crypto. Like, yeah, I could maybe potentially mine won't hit that today. I know it's, ugh. I don't know. Maybe I just need to come over and like give your, I'm going to get three helium in 24 hours. Holy butts. Are you going to have a blocks team? I am going to have a blocks team. Yes, I will have a blocks team. It's going to be called the Nerdy Dude Squad. Um, I'm using dude as an all-encompassing general generic term. So if you're a dudette or a dude, I apologize. It's not so gender inclusive, but you're all nerdy dudes. Whether you, you know, boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Um, you're all nerdy dudes. So you're all going to be part of the ND squad. I've got a 50 foot LMR, or I've got a five foot LMR 400 cable. Would it be better to go up to up the DBI since it's flat and I can't get up higher? That's why I moved from such YouTubers. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I'd love a sponsorship, but every video is a commercial. And it's like, just give me the meat and potatoes. Like, I, I try to do my videos with a fun intro, which I can't always hit the ball in the head. My beer, I'm never going to give up the beer unless someone says I can't drink beer and the next beer I drink will kill me. Then just put a gun to my head and pull the trigger. Never going to give up the beer. And then I'm going to try to and keep you guys engaged with some fun entertainment. I'm not going to be like, how much money can I make from an exit miner? Over here, this exit miner is this company. And if you buy it, and if you buy, buy, buy it, and you buy it, and you buy it. And it's like, no, this is what I'm making an exit miner. You guys want an exit miner? Fine. If you don't want an exit miner, fine. Who cares? Like the block. You guys want a block? Great. You want to join my team? Great. You don't? Cool. Come back and watch a, 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 a deeper video. I'm not going to sit there and shill all that crap. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to put your signals and your services up. Hey Nerdy, are you using rack antennas on all of your miners? Short Brawl Stars or Shot Brawl Stars? No, two of my miners have the rack antenna. What is the link for the wire? I always just type it. Um, I don't have a code. They don't do any affiliates or anything like that. So just go to usacoax.com. Um, I'll pull it up on screen as well, just so you can see it. Uh, usacoax.com on the home page you can just see right here you've got I, I haven't done an, a helium mpd 40 uh that's new let's take a look at that maybe i have to do one of those um standard pvc okay length um i have to do 25 footers unfortunately oh they're not bad priced um no heat sink so if we do an mpd 40 let's look at the calculator down here they don't have the calculator here. MPD 40, guys. Remember that. Um, hi. How do you think I'm doing, Eager? I'll look at yours here in just a second. Pfft. Raspberry Pi for Lynx HDDs. I want the calculator, right? Yep, right here. All right, let's see what an MPD 40. So right now, I have a 1.1 signal loss with my LMR 400. Let's see what an MPD 40 does. Because I don't want you guys to, if I can find it. No. Fine. Won't do it. Blech. But anyway, uh, go to Helium. Go to USA Coax, and you'll see Helium. I don't really, unless you need to bend it and wind it. Like if you're doing anything like under like a meter or two, I'd recommend an Ultra Flex. But if you're not, if you've got some distance, you just need a regular cable. Like these are some stiff, solid cables. Like someone gave them some extends because they are male performance but the uh flexible ones are like a you know a soft floppy which major not as floppy but they're pretty good so usacoax.com go there all right so we've got some catching up to do thank you i'm interested in examiner do you set the price for your tb use what about upload and download as well thanks nerdy no it's based on their contracts is what they set it up as so they might say that to rent one terabyte of space is 15 dollars a month 
Um, and then that's what the price is. So you are just literally providing storage. You are plugging this device in and you are running it. They have the contracts right here. Their contract parameters are what you get. I don't know what they're charging people, but this is what their contract parameters are. Storage price is about eight uh, SCP per terabyte per month. Collaterals, eight SCP terabyte per month. Bandwidth, download and upload based on how many terabytes is downloading. Uploading is 1.60 uh, SCP and 1.33 with the SCP token currently being at $2.67. What are you doing to me? Go back up. Maybe now is the time to sell and buy back in shortly. Um, so it goes from there. Yep, RPSMA male to N female. That's exactly what you want. Anything, yes, you get paid per gigabyte used. Yep. Is a Roqueland 8 dBi better than an 8 dBi McGill antenna? I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of good things about the Roqueland's, but from my experience with the McGill, oh boy. Oh, Nelly. All right, so we're looking at... Um, Mammoth Cyan Rabbit. Mammoth Cyan Rabbit. Afternoon all. Anybody worked with a company called Mining Heaven? Used them for my deeper, best price I could find. I have not Midwest Mining. I actually got mined through Fast Miners. Well, I actually got mined through Mr. Potts, who bought his through Fast Miners, and he just gave, he sold me his at cost. Uh, but you set your own provider's price through on SCP. I've changed mine four times since SCP is moving up. What? Wait, what? I haven't done any of that. I've just let it sit. Um, oh, you might want it directional. Like, yeah, not bad for your 14 witnesses. You're clearing what's around you. Not bad at all for your area. You forgot eager lime iguana. Did I forget it or did you just not super chat it? If you didn't super chat it, I didn't forget it. Super chats get put all the way to the front of the line. Otherwise, sometimes I get off on a tangent and I don't see or pay attention to every single chat I get. That's why I want super chats. Um, I mean, not bad, but yeah, you kind of want maybe like a directional to shoot down into here, so that way you can go from there. Uh, another question on Mary IoT device: Can anyone confirm that the U.S. version has a U.S. style power supply? Yes, the U.S. version has a U.S. style power supply. All right, we'll look yours up since you know I forgot. I totally forgot. Don't spam, or I'm not going to do it, Lacusa Adrian. Not going to do it. Yeah, you can set your p price per for terms eg 10 week contract for x amount of data etc oh okay can i do it from here 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 wait i do it from here can i do like one million dollars or settings i'm not gonna i'm not gonna click on this stuff while i'm on the screen um join the nerdy use of discord show yeah oh yeah 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 all right, so 30 days, seven out, really transmit scale kind of sucks. Eight DBI, 10 meters up. Make sure you have an LMR 400. That's about all I could say about that one. Your your height's good, your antenna's okay, and um, your transmit scale sucks. So I, I don't like that one. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will be getting a small do-it-yourself kit that I'm gonna do with videos on, and I guess that is, okay, yeah, 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 all right. So when I actually get that in, thanks, Nerdy, love your channel. Thanks, Doug C. Um, when I get that in, then, okay, all right, that makes sense. Thanks for the clarification on that one. Elma on Linux, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know there's a delay, and I'm just kind of reading the chat and like, you know, yeah, I know. And you guys are catching up and typing at me, and I'm like atting you and stuff like that. All right, so I'm just going to pull up, uh, since Latasku Adrian um, spammed, I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to judge it on the inside and not say a word. Or maybe I can leave someone in chat to see what they would recommend. So right now, if you guys can't see because it's in 420 potato quality, we've got a Bobcat 4 dBi antenna 5 meters in the air. What would you guys recommend for this setup? Uh, my aware is at about like 18 planets a day. Which, if they're going to give me, like, 18 planets a day and complain and stuff like that because nothing's fixed, but they're going to give me extensions on the license, then um, I'm kind of okay with it. The less I have to buy licenses and the more I can just go. Whatever. Which, um, tomorrow's video is going to be about planet. I wanted to do the video yesterday, uh, but it, when it came to video time, I was, um, need higher. All right, Metazino says need higher. 100% agree. 
new antenna, 100% agree. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, you pretty much what I was going to say. Um, this is pretty much a, a cut and dry case. 4 dBi, 5 meters up. This area right there needs a 5.6 or a 6.0. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do, yeah, definitely new cable. Always, yeah, because if they've got that stock cable with the shitty little antenna, they definitely want the, um, the LMR 400. So get higher, better antenna. Yeah, the whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. Um, I was going to do the Planet Watch video yesterday, but I didn't have a thumbnail made for it. And um, I didn't feel like making a thumbnail because I've got a guy that makes my thumbnails for me now and he wasn't responding. And so I then decided to play Mortal Kombat 11 while my daughters were sleeping. Yeah. But so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video on planets. 8.5 DBI, 8 meters, LMR 400. Boom. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for doing that for me. All right. Let's take a look at Breezy Pine Panther. Oh, my God. Maybe I should have you guys answer for me. Like, I host the show, and you guys do the answering. I bought a bunch of aware units. I'm more than okay with 18 a day. Yeah, I've got four. I'm okay with 18 a day. Uh, but LMR 600, ooh, freaking solid stuff. All right, so what are we looking at here? 30 days, 10.296. What do we always say about 30 days and how much we want? Seven days, 3.34. How much do we say that we want for seven days? 24 hours really doesn't matter. If, you've, if you're if you getting these numbers, really doesn't matter. So you've got a sense cap, 8 dBi, 15 meters in the air. Just sit there and look pretty and drink. Haha. <laughs> yeah, right? Just stroke my mustache. Hmm. Hmm. I loved the movie. I know everyone's complaining about uh, the movie not having the tournament in it and stuff like that, but I loved Mortal Kombat. I thought it was a fun movie last year. Yeah. Will work for beer. Please, sir, can I have another Sam Adams? Ten is a good day. Ten is good in 30 days. Looking good. Yep, looking good. There we go. Right there. That's the answer we needed. Doing salad. Exactly. Psh. You guys should be the YouTubers. You guys just talk. I'll be the voice. That's all we need. I could say it in, like, funny terms. I can give you guys all individual voices, too. Like, Midwest mining would be like a good old country boy. It'd be like, we'll work for bear. Uh, Derek, I could just see Derek having, like, um, oh, Derek, what kind of voice would I do for you? I, 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 you, you would, you, your profile picture looks like, you remind me of Guillermo from What Lies in the Shadows. I can't do, really do his voice. Metazone, you'd be like a Chad, bro. That's what you would be. Virtual Heather. Virtual Heather Bobcat. I have an 8 dBi rack, and I'm not getting the results I want. I want them. I want them. Let's see what we got. Virtual Heather Bobcat. Uh, the movie was dope. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah, I really, really liked it. Trying to uh, trying to exp trying explain to Mrs. Haha. -ha. Oh, you watched it last night? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was awesome. All right. So what you're saying, I have an 8 dBi, and I'm not getting the results I want. What results do you want? You're almost there. I mean, you've had some dud days. Just order my cables. Thanks again. You're welcome. Are Exa Miners out of stock? I got an email with a link. However, it still says out of stock when I click on it. Peter Griffin, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> Peter Griffin's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Why, if I click on a hotspot, the map keeps looking at the same hotspot over and over again? Just reduce. Re uh, I like your results. There's really nothing you need to do here. Um, maybe up higher. That's about it. Virtual Heather Bobcat. Just go up higher. 8 dBi is good. Um, just refresh the refresh the page. Um, it's relayed, but I cannot wire the router. Worse if a wi Oh, didn't someone ask about Wi-Fi and PoE? So um, since I don't have a super chat, I can also go back to showing off my setup, unless someone super chats here in the next few minutes. So there we go. All right, so guys, I've got three miners, right? I'm going to have four in a bit. I have three miners. Two of the miners are on Wi-Fi. One miner is directly wired. So Big Current Manta Ray and Sour... Big Current Manta Ray and Brief Taupe Fox are connected to Wi-Fi. And Sour Walnut Goat is connected via Ethernet cord. 
big current manta ray maybe if i connected that to ethernet cord directly and got it off a relay would have even more than 1.12 helium in 24 hours but are we really going to complain about having 1.12 helium in 24 hours no brief tote fox is on wi-fi as well because that's at my house and i didn't feel like you know drilling holes in the walls where i needed to or drilling up in the attic i went with the easiest and laziest setup i possibly could and it's making 0.85 hnt in 24 hours do i really care no am i going to change anything no if it was down to 0.1 or 0.05 maybe yes but with it being at 0.85 why do i have to do any crazy work um sour walnut goat that is connected on ethernet we make jokes about this miner a bunch of times that it's our idiot stepbrother or idiot minor brother because i just didn't feel like driving to my in-laws house to correct it but this one's connected to ethernet and it's good all three of them are almost one h and t day on the regular yeah i'm on wi-fi sucks bad 105 mic it doesn't really matter in my opinion with these you know um I have good Wi-Fi connection. You know, my PlayStation 5 is on Wi-Fi. I play Call of Duty matches at 38 megaseconds and or milliseconds, so it's pretty solid there. Um, occasionally, we get up a little bit higher, but it's pretty good there. So, man. All right. I am just about done with beer. I am just about done with the stream. I will sit here for a few minutes and beg for Super Chats one last time. I'm going to be done looking at miners unless they come with a Super Chat, so... Um, we're just going to hang out for a few minutes while I sip the rest of my beer. If we can get four more likes and get it to 75 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. If I can get one, if I can get one an hour, I'd purchase a month's worth of merch and profits. LOL. One a day. I was like one an hour. That's 24 a day, man. You'd just be loaded. Right. I always dreamed like when I first had my first two, like this is when I saw the dream that like Vosk had um, ping doesn't matter so much with these. Yeah, not really. Yeah, it really doesn't matter at all. When Vosk got that $5,600 um, payout because he was in a consensus group, I had dreamed that I had my two miners and both of them would get like $5,600 like a week or like, you know, a month or something like that. So then I was like, so what I end up doing is I would I would buy a whole bunch of them off of eBay and I would like rent apartments in different cities and just put the miner in the apartment with internet and power. But, ah, uh, nice one, mate. Didn't know. Yeah. But, no, then once I got my miners in and realized that you're not going to be making $5,600 $5, a week unless you put some work up, um, I don't see the like button. It's somewhere. I just need one more. One more. But, yeah, so I always thought about, like, doing that, like, or maybe, like, renting a hotel room at the top of a hotel in the middle of Orlando and just having my miner in there. I will send you some H&T once my miner starts producing. I appreciate it. All my H&T videos have my, um, I think even my stream has my H&T address in the description. So if you guys ever want to send H&T tips, that's the way to do it as well. I'm a content creator. This is how I have to make my living. Uh, yeah, I saw same Drew sitting pretty. I ordered one. Yeah. Mm. You are so beautiful to me. I love Cold Snap. I know it's just like a very bland beer, but if I ever was trapped on a desert island, they said you can only have one beer for the rest of your life, it would be Sam Adams Cold Snap. It's just... Mwah. Thanks for the great content. Keep up the good work. Cheers. Cheers to you, Anthony. I appreciate it, and you're very welcome. But fell behind and minted come out for F's sake. Yeah, I saw same Drew sitting pretty. I ordered one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we're out of beer. So, all right. Two more minutes. Hey, there's a spot on the Citrus Tower in Claremont. 200 in the air. Not sure how to get a space on. It would be awesome. Ah, Mind of Tron with $1.50 super chat. What's going on, buddy? I'm going to try to get on some Call of Duty tonight. I have a little bit of The Bachelor I have to watch my wife, but I do want to play some more Call of Duty. Well, you stay up late with the rest of the boys. Like, I want to, I really want to play with Dad and not Mikey. But, oh well. Drink some water once in a while, dude. I do. I, in fact, I'll have a water right after this. It'll be a hard water, but it'll be water. <laughs> Actually, I do, I drink a lot of water. And I got my wife a soda stream for Christmas, and her and I drink a lot of, like, bubbly um, seltzer water, too. Uh, all right, so I want to go to the Citrus Tower. That's where I wanted to go. La, 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 That should be 50, right? Citrus Tower should be up here. What's Citrus Tower? No. Pumpkin Center. Where is it? Will it show the roads? Yeah, okay, that's what I need. Okay, let's go back to 27. 
there we okay so there's 50 that should be 50 right where's your damn name damn it that should be 50 citrus tower should be where is it is it here where is it add you on vanguard yeah Oh, uh, beer has water. Beer does have water in it. Uh, I'm on PlayStation 5. It's uh, Oprius 7. O-P-R-I-O-U-S 7. That should be Citrus Tower, shouldn't it? That might be it. Yeah, buddy. With that said, what are your thoughts on MXC M2 Pro Miner? I wasn't a fan of the, how much the MXC miners were and uh, how much returns they were getting. Um... And with it being the first time, Dry Lavender Beaver uh, will get you there. Thank you. Um, the first time I saw it, too, was on Voscoin Channel, and it was just such a commercial. I just was turned off by it. And really, like, I just didn't – it was, it was you know, I picked I picked Helium, and that was going to be what I was going to do. How close am I? Oh, I was right next to it. Okay. Oh, it's offline now. Where's the Crooked Spoon? I should put one in the Crooked Spoon. Great restaurant, by the way. Add Mind of Tron on PS4. Ew, PS4. Gosh, Mind of Tron. PS4s are icky. They're so last generation. Just use your code to buy a couple of Mary IoT devices. Appreciate the advice. Once I have Mind, HNT, I'll send some your way. I absolutely appreciate it. Hopefully, you can get those set up. Um, my will message the name in Discord. LOL, I missed it. LOL. Um, this is for PlayStation. That's for PlayStation. Um, yeah, no, Fourthborn. Um, get it set up. Let me know, and uh, yeah, we can go from there. Make sure you watch all my all my videos and stuff. All right. With that said, I am gonna go get a white claw. I'm seeing comments that MXC is a waste. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I, I wasn't in love with it. I just didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. You know, I, I did. Um, Thomas, I'm, I'm I, unless there's a super chat, I'm done looking them up. Appreciate you and the content. Take care. Absolutely. Uh, my pleasure, as always. And I appreciate you guys being here. So Helium, definitely had to jump on Helium. Um, Deeper, there was a lot of requests for me to check out Deeper. So when one of, I, I wasn't going to do it originally. And um, I really just, it's a set and forget it. Uh, but then when one of my subscribers and Discord buddies, just one question, my miner say sync, but I still getting rewards. Yeah, so it's it's pretty much at the end of it syncing. It just takes a little bit of time to show. Um, do research and be careful what you get into. It just takes a little bit of time to show that it's complete syncing um, before. But yeah, you should be getting rewards. But yeah, so I did deeper just because there was a lot of people asking about it. Because at the time, it was just deeper and helium that were the big things that popped up. And then once Planet Watch um, in the awares, uh, came out I pretty much set deeper complete aside because there's really not any content I can give you guys on deeper it's it's just here here it is there it is that's my credit score For some reason my credit score started going up like I haven't done anything to the settings and now my credit score is finally going up um Mysterium didn't really care for it either uh, I looked into it didn't care for it um but then I saw the planet watch and then um a subscriber reached out to me about SC prime on discord and he got me in touch with their CEO and they were like, well, you know, he told me all about the project and I loved it. I think it's freaking awesome. And the CEO said, well, you have to buy a miner, but we will reimburse you in SCP tokens and we will get you to the front of the line if you want to do videos. So I was like, absolutely. And so I did the one video. The unboxing video was the sponsored content, I should say, um, to earn the refund that I earned. So any... Any SCP video I do here on out is all on my own accord. It's not like I have any obligation to do any videos or to talk about it. I haven't signed any contract deal. It was literally, you do an unboxing video for the device, we'll give you 100% refund instead of 42%. Done. Easy. Could put. Uh, so, yeah. So, fell in love with SCP, and I really like the project. I really like the device. It's, it's probably my favorite my favorite device. Like, I just love the look of it. I love the feel of it. I love it sitting there in my office. And then Block Create, I saw Fonz Finds. I was like, this is freaking awesome. And I grabbed one and I reached out to him, said, hey, I'm a YouTuber. They sent me mine immediately. And then as a thank you for doing the unboxing in the video, they said, hey, we would like to give you another one. No obligation. Don't have to do any more videos on it. That's it. So, yeah, that's it. 
Huh. And it's right here, behind copper. Oh, it's on. Ah. I didn't realize it was still on. That's why I'm here. It's not about buying your audience. Dang, why is the blockchain outdated? Uh, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, no, it's not about buying my audience. Like, you guys are my audience to improve your setups and to participate. Like, oh, I also have the Gold Shell h &S miner, which I know that they were slobbing on Voss Coins knob for a bit, so I ended up buying one, which it's cool. Just not a lot of content I can give you there either. Be sure to like and subscribe. Live streams every Monday, Discord, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so we're all like little dudes like i know there's a lot of financial advisors and investors two dollars super chat yes i will do it now i saw you earlier i was like if i wait i can wait him out um but yeah i want to get you guys successful like i'm not an entertaining youtube channel what about block create there'll be more there'll be more not not today's stream though when the actual dap goes live we will do live streams about block create with our team and with our moves and stuff like that so make sure you stay tuned to the channel but like i was saying um we're all like, you know, if we want to drop 500 bucks to buy a helium miner and then get ROI in the next few days, like, I mean, yeah, I could maybe do some good stand-up comedy and have some good stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm, we're making money together and I'm showing you my errors. Like, don't go and spend $40 on a bullshit antenna on Amazon. You're going to waste 40 bucks. I wasted 40 bucks. Now you don't have to. Same with a really, 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 really crappy cheap quality cable. I wasted 20 bucks on that cable. I didn't have to, but I needed to learn and make sure, and I didn't know these things. Now I do know it, and now I can share that with you. So you don't waste 20 bucks. So I just saved you guys 60 bucks. There you go. All right. Late Fleece Wolf, you are looking at a 7 DBI, 10 meters up, 2.89, so about 2.9. You're in that 2.5 to 3.5 range in the seven-day time frame, so I really might not have a lot of advice for you. And then looking at your 30-day, you're at 8.86. So it looks like you've had a couple of dud days. Thank you. I appreciate what you've done. I will super chat when I get my H&T miners also. I appreciate that very much. Um, looks like you maybe made a change to your setup around here. Um, you know, around December 21st. And it looks like we're getting to where it needs to be. You're 10 meters up with a seven DBI. So really just double check that your connections are good. Make sure you've got an LMR 400. I like where your seven days at your five, your, your, your 14 days also at a very good place. And I think once your 30 days actually finally roll over and complete, you're going to be in that 10 helium range. Not too bad at all, especially with you at a half trans transmit scale there. Potentially you could be at double these numbers here. Have you opened one of them from Amazon? I got it today to learn. Pfft, so scummy, LOL. Uh, puppy. Oh, no, nah, I'm not going to bring on uh, Axel today. Maybe I should bring on Axel. All right, I'm going to bring on Axel. You rock, nerdy dude. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Tron. Get back on YouTube. We'll get the puppy. We're just going to switch to full screen while we say goodbye. There you go. Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. All right. There you go, guys. There's Axel. He's getting big. He's a big boy. Can't even see him. He's a big boy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> go ahead. Pop a squat. There you go. Oh yeah, he's he's big. He's a big boy. <laughs> he was so cute. Now he just looks like a tiny adult dog. Yep. We like Axel. We miss Copper, but we like Axel. I know. I need to give hugs. So, all right. Well, I agree. Keep up the good work. Click the like button for a like spike. Big puppy. Oh yeah, he's only going to get bigger. What do you think of Jing antennas? I've seen them on ads. I just haven't looked into them yet. So, all right. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, all that good stuff. Don't forget we do these these uh, streams every Monday. You go boy. Yeah, you go boy. And then we do videos, you know, pretty much. I think we're only, we're up to five days a week, which is nice. 
my advice, get McGill. Yeah, get McGill. Definitely get McGill. You looking, Daddy? Yeah. I'm gonna get. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Say bye.